I want to thank you, I want to appreciate you for your goodness and for your love, for the preservation of our soul to witness this day. We glorify your holy name because you are God. Only you are God. I want to thank you for the privilege and the opportunity. I said to thank in Jesus' name. What I was going on in your word, Father, teach us your word in the name of Jesus. The benefits of this program, they you know, include us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Uh, we have a grace to be here once again today. And I, I prayed, and I will pray again, that the benefit of this program will begin with all of us in the name of Jesus. Today, we'll be talking about getting ready. And if you know that this year, 2018, you are going to sing a new song. Tell somebody, I'm ready. ready. If you know this 2018, you are going to a higher pedestrian. That means higher level. Tell somebody I'm ready. ready. If you know this year 2018, you are going to receive limitlessly blessing of the Almighty God. Tell somebody I am ready. ready. It takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. Before you become great, you must prepare greatly. I remember when the Lord wants to bless so mightily our Father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Kadeboe, he told him. After he has received his gratuity, he said, Son, I want to make you great. Can you give me hope that you have gotten? And I heard the father said, I'm ready to give you all that I have gotten. Go and tell my wife because I know she's not ready. Or else it, she would think I'm mad. And the Lord visited the wife too. And the wife was shocked that ah. Oga, mumala <laughs> But I don't know whether it's really from God or not. Allah wolola, she let's share it. These words are hard though. The Lord, the Father said, I am ready because He told me, I asked Him to tell you. And you have had, and I don't want you to miss it. You must be ready. To receive every word that come out of this altar for you to benefit. When word comes out, it comes to the church. But the only, only those who receive it, who prepare for it, and work on it, share the testimony. Don't be distracted. I will just remind you, and something you must do, particularly this year, get weariness out of your life. Because there's a lot of big things that the Lord has prepared for us this year. For us that are here, you are here today because you prepare to be here. Is it not? You prepare to come before 6 o'clock and start the program by 6 o'clock. And you started preparing since yesterday night, particularly the mothers. You are preparing your house to come and receive from him. In Luke 4, before our Lord Jesus Christ 
started his ministry, he went to the wilderness to go and do what? To go and prepare. For something big, you must be prepared to have it. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And thank the Almighty God, the Lord that's with us in this chapel. He's preparing us with just seven days prayer and fast. It's in line for people who want to become great in 2018. And I know you are one of them. Yeah. That means you are ready. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. To become great, are you ready? Yes. Do you remember that there is a handing over note? Is, who is ready to take over? You must be ready to take over. If somebody is ready to hand over, you must be ready to take over. And you must be guided. When there is a handover, there must be a takeover. Say somebody, I'm taking over this year. When the war falls out to you, don't let it fall on the ground. The elevated place in the church is the altar. Every word that comes out of the halter, you must be prepared to receive it. Tell somebody I'm ready. I'm ready. Tell you will speak to 2018 that I'm ready to possess my greatness. Not word of mouth. You will tell at your home, at your privacy. You talk, you call 2018. Stay 2018. This is my year. I'm ready for you. Every goodness that eluded me in 2017, I'm getting it from you, 2018. And he doesn't have choice than to release unto you. For somebody to win a race, the person must be prepare. For somebody to receive an encounter from the law, the person must be ready. Check the rule of 28. Verse 13. Make thee. Yes. And the Lord shall make thee the head. Amen. And not the tail. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be above only. Yes. And thou shalt not be beneath. Yes. If thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God. There is a condition is to hearken. To the commandment of the Lord that he has spoken unto you. What we are doing is we are hacking. That means we are prepared to be head, to be above, to receive the blessing of the almighty God that he has sent to us this 2018. Do you remember the word came, do not complain this year. You are aware. And do you remember every negative word that comes to you, you should do what? You should discard it. You know he said it. So I didn't send them to you. They may be, look like my prophet. They may look like my servant. Any negative war that comes to you in 2008, you discard it. It's not for me. Because the Lord said he has not sent you. Because this year, I'm ready to be great. I'm ready to recover all. Readiness means preparedness. Let's take Joshua. Joshua 1. Let's start from verse 1. Mm -hmm. It came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, mm. the son of Nun, mm. Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Yes. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan down, all, all, and all these people, unto the land which I do give to them, mm -hmm. even to the children of Israel. Let's move to six because of our time. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide My them. sister, my brother, we need to be strong for 2018. You see, I was shocked when I got here this morning. I, I said, I, 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 I made a mistake that Oga say the program is going to start by 6.30. 
Because when I look at the surrounding, I was sure I didn't see. Ah. What is happening? It is only though that have been destined to be great that will prepare for the greatness. For this period, you should be ready. I've warned you, any form of weariness, just do away with it. And one thing that you need to do again, tarry a bit more before him. Tarry what? A bit more than before in his presence. Find your time to do more with God in 2018. Because it's a year of limitless possibilities. Let's see another word in, in, in the Bible. For greatness to come, it needs your preparedness. Continue from that verse, from verse 8 to 11. Shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate there in day and night. You should talk to God regularly. You should call him in the morning. You should call him in the afternoon. You should call him in the night. You, even in the midnight. If you look at 18, look at 18. He said, If woman can disturb the king, say, Avenge my cause. And the king answers, Ah, this woman is disturbing me. Go and disturb God. 2018. You disturb him by calling him. He said, call on me. Because he will do great and mighty things. Anyone that is ready for great and mighty things in 2018 must call God regularly. Because as you are preparing to call God and you are timing yourself and you make it a regular, uh, a regular uh, at intervals, the Lord will be ready for you. If you are ready for him. You know what? The Lord just doesn't use the capable. What am I saying? Uh, just hold on a bit, madam. The Lord doesn't use the capable. What do I mean? The knowledgeable, the harja, the experts. But you know who he uses? Those that are available. If you are available for God, the Lord is ready for you. If you are available for Him, He's ready to use you. Check Isaiah. Hold on, about check Isaiah six, verse six. Isaiah six, verse six. Seraphim unto Him. Mm -hmm. Having a, a life call in his hand. Go to, go to run through it. Okay, sir. Okay. Then flew one of the seraphim unto him, having a life call in his hand, which he had taken with the, with the tongues from off the altar, mm -hmm. and he laid it upon my mouth, mm -hmm. and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, mm -hmm. and thy iniquity is taken away, and the sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Yeah, I am I, send me. You must be ready for him to send you. You must tell God, yeah, I am hard. I'm ready. The greatness that is bringing you for you in 2018 is so enormous. It's limitless. But it's only those that get ready for it will receive it. That they may observe to do according to all that is written therein. You see, everything. I'm telling you. Do you remember yesterday that a certificate has been given to you to you whom it may concern? Prepare yourself for every war. The Bible is there for you as a guide. But the word of greatness comes from the heart. Mount of his servant on the altar. Every word this year, don't let it fall to the ground. You, re you remember if uh, we are doing wedding ceremony and the bridegroom wants to throw uh, the flower for who, for who will be the next. You know you get ready. 
You get ready to cash. Get ready to cash the word of the law, the commandment of the law. The spirit directs you this year. Be ready for it. It is then that you will share in the testimony of limitless possibility in your life. Prepare your house. Prepare your heart. Prepare anything preparable. It's not when the outcome of an event comes that you know who is a victor and is a failure. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And it's not about you. I can I say kagba. And to basic bad day, I tell to Jacule. And to bad day, go and enjoy any con, no one mura, lati badeo. What in she share bo, what in mura bo, what in shekini, what in she, low room, loss on, what in be, what in mura sile. Lati bad day. To take the glory and the crown, 2018, you must be prepared. Yes, madam? For then thou shalt make my way prosperous. Yep. And then thou shalt have good sources. Good sources. Ever our eleven because of our time. Pass through the host and command the people. Say, yes. Prepare you victorious for Pre within three prepare days. Prepare yourself. Consecrate yourself. Yara le soto funua. When God comes, He doesn't visit. The filthiness. He doesn't visit those that has contaminated themselves with sins, a lot of issues. He doesn't come to the heart that is thinking from one place to the other who is not ready for his work. Your faith to work with God this year must be like what. The English calls blind trust. Madam Ayoko, do you know what is blind trust? Do you know a stick of uh, of a blind man? Do you know every concentration of Afoju is in the Okpa? Do you know it? He will be doing like this. He will be doing Okpa, but in Nicola, so people will know. That's what you have this year. Blind trust. EBT or Paolo no matter that is equal. That's where you should go. You should have blind trust in him. If he has said, This is to whom is the concern that needs help, you must carry it and go. Father, I'm the one who I need help. This is my certificate. And you are you now be telling where you want the help to come from. Holy Mary, you are the mother of Jesus. I need help. This is my certificate. To whom it may concern. Hi, so, so, so. Need children from you. Blindly. Trust God. I have seen and I've heard somebody that received his ear back through a blind trust. He started and he placed a shia and was beating the enemy that took away a hair. Of foul ear, don't you? What about the Sit down. What to foul in the mag by the room of the law? What about the noise by the this is official law. You may do that. What the Lord has commanded you this year from the altar, key unto it. Don't let it fall to the ground. Let's check our Bible. Let's take Second King from verse one. Second King, Second King from verse one. Uh, chapter one from uh, uh, chapter two. Uh, chapter one from verse one. No, chapter two from verse one. Sorry. Uh -huh. When the Lord will take up Elijah into heaven by a wood way, uh -huh. that Elijah went with Elisha from Giga. Uh -huh. And Elijah said unto Elisha, yeah. Tarry here, I pray thee. Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here. I pray thee. I pray thee. For the Lord has sent me to bed. Oh Lord, you know me. Uh -huh. And Elisha said unto him, Yes. As the Lord liveth. Be your Lord, and be. as thy soul liveth. Me, I will not leave thee. So they went down Why did he say that? Because he, he that? because he has prepared for something great. He has prepared for double portion of power of Elijah. He said, Tari, yeah. No, no. Oh God. He will have Tari if he has not prepared. He will wait. I see what you. And the son of 
I want to go to I want to hear. They will come to your life. I want to I want to They will come to your life and give you messages that is not aligned with what is coming from the altar. Yes. Do you know? Yes, that your master will be taken away from you today. Today, and yes. he said, "Ye, oh, I know it. Hold ye your peace." And Elijah How said, "How did he him, know if he has not prepared for it?" You must be in the spirit always. Because it's the spirit of the Lord that will reveal and manifest unto you the hidden secrets. And you can increase in the spirit when you tarry a bit further in his presence. When you pray, you now tarry, God, how do you, how do you want me to go? What do you want to do today? And he will minister unto you. And he will expose to you your greatness. That is just it. They ask him, obey he, Pada. Go and relax. The Lord wants to send me to Jericho. He said, as the Lord liveth, sir. I have prepared. He didn't tell him, no. Oga, he told me, a meeting Mura for your double portion of your anointing. What have you prepared for this year? The word of the Lord is to guide you. You see, the only one that can give you in abundance is the one that have it in abundance. Don't go to your brother. Don't go to your family because what they have is limited. The only one that can grant you what you are preparing for this year is the one that has it. And if you are available for him this year, he's going to surprise you. Make yourself available. Don't rely on your horse. Don't rely on your knowledge. Don't rely on what you think is your capacity. Just rely absolutely on him. As Elijah prepared, to take double portion. You must be prepared. This year, whatever you have achieved, no matter how many, how great the year in 2007, you must get it double. This year. And you must prepare for it. Tell somebody I'm prepared. Let's check Psalm 19. Verse 1 to 6. Blessed are the undefined in the way. No. One one nine. Thee, o Lord. Eh? It is time for thee, O Lord. It to walk. is time for thee, O Lord. To walk. To. To walk. To do what? To walk. If it is time for God to walk, that means you are already prepared to receive His walk. Uh huh. For they have made vow thy law. Show the book boy, it's your tea so I won't fit your own to share and want it by them. A lot of glory. Don't you go was a manifestation? I want that. Want to shake any, want to buy them. Or don't talk about that. Or go to your car bar, to your car low, want to shake any, want to talk about But now you are ready. Say, I am ready. Because it's time for you to walk. In my life, I am ready. Because it's time for you to walk in my life. I am ready. Because it's time for me to be great. I am ready. Because it's time for me to possess my possession. I am ready. Because it's time for me to be promoted. I am ready. Because it's time for me to do the undoable. And only God can do what no man can do. How will you going to do it? Check Exodus 23:20. Exodus 23:20. Behold, Behold! I send an angel I before thee. I send an angel before, before thee. thee. Yes. To keep thee in thy way. 
An angel has been sent to you this year to lead you. Yes? And to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Where God has designed for you, not where you are expecting. Because it's designed for you, it's of greater things. And the angel has been prepared for you on this altar. So, take it. Because it's going to lead you to your promised land. Tell, let's rise up and tell God, I will not miss it this year. No matter what. No matter the situation. No matter the word of the enemy. No matter what I see. No matter what anybody is saying. Because you are saying an angel that is guiding me on your altar. I will not miss it. I am prepared to go ahead. I am prepared to take over. I am prepared to become great. 2018. Hear the word of law. This is my year of my greatness. This is my year of my limitless possibility. This is my year that I will do what people think I will not be able to do. In the name of Jesus, let us pray and ask. Child of God, open your mouth. I am prepared not to miss anything. Father, in the name of Jesus, I shall not miss it. I will not miss it. I am prepared. I am ready. Grant unto me, Lord, that I will not miss it. 